Hey everyone, welcome back to EC Coding. We can see a lot of hiring is happening in multiple companies around automation testing. In the upcoming videos, I'll try to collect the interview questions from different companies and I'll come up with the answers so that it will be really helpful for the job seekers. So if you have any interview questions, please feel free to comment or email the same to me. So we can include that in the upcoming videos. So in this video, we are going to see the interview questions for CGI. So let's dive into the essentials of CGI interview. Let us see the first question. Tell me about yourself and explain your roles and responsibilities, which is a commonly asked question. And next one is explain your current project and framework. And third one is have you used abstraction in your framework? Explain the concept. Fourth one is what is polymorphism? Did you use polymorphism in your project? All these questions we have already explained in our previous interview questions and answers so please watch that and apart from that we have a separate playlist for the object oriented programming in our selenium framework so please watch that before attending any automation testing interviews so fifth one is difference between explicit weight and implicit weight so implicit weight makes web driver to wait for a specified amount of time like we can provide 10 seconds or 20 seconds and when trying to locate an element before throwing no such element exception and when implicit weight is set, the web driver will wait for a defined period, allowing for elements to load dynamically. And we know implicit weight setting is a global one and it applies to the all the elements in the script and it will remain in effect for the duration of the web driver instance. Once the command is done, implicit weight remains for the entire duration for which the browser is open. And its default setting is zero and we can see the syntax over here. It is driver.manage.timeouts.implicit weight of 10 time unit seconds. So we can provide any seconds over here 10 or 20 or 30 and it will wait for that particular time period. So let's see the explicit weight. So explicit weight is allows the web driver to wait for a specific condition to occur before proceeding the next step in the code. So it's like a waiting for a particular condition to occur then only it will move further to the next line. So unlike implicit weight which applies globally, explicit weights are applied only to specific elements or conditions making them more flexible and precise. And setting explicit weight is important in case where there are certain elements that naturally take more time to load. Suppose for a web page we have two buttons and it will take more time to load. In that case we can utilize this explicit weight and we can wait until that is visible. So we can provide different set of conditions over there and we can utilize the explicit weight. If one sets an implicit weight command then the browser will wait for the same time frame before loading every web element. This causes an unnecessary delay in executing the test script. So explicit weight is more intelligent because it applies to particular element whatever is loading slowly. So but can only be applied for specific elements. In order to declare explicit weight, so we have to use different expected conditions. So for example alert is present or element section state to be. So that way we have different conditions based on that we can provide the explicit weight. And the command or syntax for the explicit weight is web driver weight is equal to new web driver weight of driver comma 30 seconds and weight dot until expected conditions dot visibility of element located. So until this element is located it will wait for the particular time period. So that is how explicit weight is working. So these are the concept of explicit weight and implicit weight. We have one more weight as well fluent weight. The next question is difference between driver.get and driver.navigate methods. Selenium helps users to load the web page through two different functions. So we know driver.get and driver.navigate will load the web page correspondingly. And both of these functions have their advantages as well as the disadvantages. So let us see what are that. So for get it is a part of web driver instance but in case of navigate it is a part of the navigation interface and uh, get will wait until the web page is fully loaded but navigate does not wait for the web page to fully load and in get does not track browser history but navigate will track the browser history and get will not support refreshing the web page or moving backward or forward and navigate will support refreshing the web page and it supports moving forward to the next page after navigating back Question number seven, write the Selenium code to initialize the browser. 
we know we have different browsers chrome firefox so here we have declared for chrome driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver so it will initialize the chrome driver similar way we can do for firefox or whatever the driver we can initialize the next question is write the code for handling a drop down so handling a drop down mainly involves the select class so using select class we can handle a drop down in selenium so select class contains different methods select by visible text select by index and by value let us see the syntax for few of the select class methods so over here we can see this is for select by visible text and other one is select by index if we have suppose five elements so we can pass that particular parameter value over here and the other one is the select by value Question number nine: Write the code for handling multiple window handles and getting each title. So here we can see the code. I am not going to explain line by line, but here we can see string parent equal to driver dot get window handle. So here it is declared as a string, and here we can see it is a set of string driver dot get window handles. So this is a main interview questions. What is the difference between get window handle and get window handles, and what is the return type of the get window handles? so we can see this is a set of string so if they are asking to explain collection concept and where you have used in your automation framework please explain this set set comes under java collection so you have to explain we have get window handles and that returns set of string so that is the best example of collection concept and we have to iterate using an iterator and until the last element it will iterate and it will get the corresponding title as well so here we can see driver dot switch to dot window of child window and get title so it will print the corresponding title window then we will move to the parent handle this is how it is working so the major concept is over here it is storing into a set of string next question is 10th if a new element or button is added to web page how would you add it to the framework so the first thing we have to locate the element and whatever the locating strategy that we have to add corresponding to our page object model framework suppose if it is add the button is added in the home page we have to write the corresponding element to home page and once after that we have to write the specific function if it is a button clicking on that those kind of things we need to take care and the 11th one is what is the test plan document you might be already familiar with that one so these are the questions which were asked in the cgi interview so remember to research the company practice your answers and present the answers confidently that is more than enough thank you so much for watching see you in the next video before that if you have any questions easycodingchannel.help@gmail.com